Hey guys, Stella here, and welcome back to Avorian. In today's episode, it is time to go and get some new weapons. Because, as I've discovered at this turret factory, there is an incredibly powerful double Tesla turret up for grabs. Well, up for grabs. Um, hold on, that's not the one. I need to actually go out and get all the requirements. The beauty of this thing is that it does absolutely not take up any space. It only takes up one slot. They cost me 7 million to build, and having sold off a million Neonite and 350,000 Zanian, I'm now sitting on 24,000, so I should be able to get away with this. That is, if I can get my shopping done, because this is going to be a pretty big shopping list to complete. Now, I could also go with one of these, having a double Tesla turret on an independent targeting system, so I can also have one on the stern. And by doing that, I'll make sure that, especially when I'm not completely oriented towards the threat, I can still use one of these. So I'll probably also get one of those. And the targeting systems are on board the seven provinces, which is ideal because otherwise I could not get them. Or at least not very likely. Alright, let's go shopping. That is, if the turret factories over here have some of the stuff that I need. Um... I usually just visit the turret su uh, supplier first, because then I know that I at least check that one out, and if I can get everything else over at the other part, at the turret factory, then I should be able to get away with all the stuff that I need to have on my ships. Um, I think I might be able to get away with it. We need 21 industrial Tesla coils. This one doesn't have them, the supplier. But the turret factory does. Those are usually the hardest to find. Power units, conductors, energy cells, all of that stuff, I think I can get away with. Now the biggest question is going to be, what weapons do I put on what ships? I'm thinking I might just put um, one of these on each of the, uh, the Sovereign class ships. So one on the Sovereign and one on the Enterprise. Trade the goods. We're going to need 30 conductors, so that is double of what I need. Um, energy inverters, 12. Power units, not sold here. Copper, not sold here. Energy cells, not sold here. And electromagnetic charges, similar. Not sold here. Alright, let's head over to the turret factory and hope that they have the rest of what I need. Uh, do I have enough cargo space on this ship? Yeah, I have some. It's not stellar, but it should be enough. Alright, let's trade. I'm going to need copper, 30 units of that. I'm going to need electromagnetic charges, 20 of those. I'm going to need 42 industrial Tesla coils. And 18 power units. Oh, those can't be sold here. Where does one acquire power units? Enterprise, let's have a check. Let's see, what do you have here? Do you have power units by any chance? You don't have them here? Does the supplier have any options? No. Unfortunately, they do not. Alright, well, that was not the only two turret factories that were in this space. I'm currently in this one with the Sovereign. This is where the Enterprise is. Uh, I have yet to check out that one. And the Seven can go over there. Between all of those turret factories, there should be power units somewhere. Enterprise is still calculating her jump route. Let's see what we have here. Turret factory. No power units. Turret factory supplier. No power units. Well, that's lovely. Anything interesting at the equipment dock then? Uh, that's a particular type of fighter. Jeez, those things are expensive. Really expensive. Anything else that I might want? Double railgun turret. Well, not a bad weapon. But judging by the amount of slots that it requires, it's not that good. 
All right, so this one is a no. In that case, you came from here. I want you to head over there. So Enterprise is going to head... Actually, let's put her over there. And then tell the Sovereign to go here. And then I'll check out whatever this has. Let's see. Trade goods. Still no power cores. Or power units. Come on, game. Hold on. Power unit factory. Bingo. How much do you have? 577. You are now my newest best friend. Sovereign. What do you mean I'm not loaded into memory? I'm in the sector. Sovereign, get over here. I need your cargo hold. Uh, and the next bit I'm going to be doing is traveling closer towards the core. Because I'm still trapped with my three ships. The wormhole has collapsed. And I have checked it out from this side, but it is actually gone. There is nothing that I can do about it. So it is just done. Sovereign. Where is that power unit factory? Here. We also have a quest. We're short on plasma cells, right. Fascinating. That's not really my problem, though. It's hard to see exactly where the factory is with all of this fog nebula. Trade goods. And I want... What was it? 36 of these. Alright, back to this one. Okay, time to build the turrets. That actually took a lot less time than I'd expected. In the meanwhile, I can have the seven just go on a mining operation, because she does have those mining fighters. And that way at least I'm getting some sort of utility out of her. When I'm not currently employing her on an actual combat mission. And as explained in the previous episode, in case you missed it, I'm using the Sovereign and the Enterprise E in order to scout, because these are the fastest ships. The Seven is a really powerful ship, but her size and weight makes it very difficult for her to get a lot of quick jumps in. Whereas this ship is excellent at that. And the Enterprise E is pretty much a clone. It has some slightly different stats, but overall it's very similar. Alright, max out the stats. One, two. You need more... Oh shit, I forgot one. Whoops. Um, <laughs> anybody have energy cells? I thought I had everything. Oh no. Seven. Are there any energy cells in your cargo hold? No, just energy tubes. What about... That's energy generator, energy container. Turret factory? Energy... Nope. Alright, then back to the supplier. Nope. Energy inverters. I already have those. I need energy cells. Uh, right. Let's check out this turret factory. I also still have to index exactly what this thing sells. Double Tesla for a pretty high base damage, but it requires several slots, which makes it less interesting than the other one. And it does not come with one of those super bonuses. Let's see, what other weapons do you have that are high value base? Double Plasma Turret? Nah, I don't think that that's going to be particularly powerful. Ooh, this could be juicy. Pulse Cannon Turret. Three slots. Uh, it does do a good amount of damage, and it has an 84% chance of penetrating shields. Okay. It's not bad. I've seen better, but it's not bad. 
Mining, lightning, double laser. Any chance I can get that up to higher damage output? Yeah, like a bit, but not much. Point defense laser, double force turret, anti-fighter, bolter turret. High base damage, though. A lot more damage to the hull. Uh, three turret slots. Nah. You can get up to fairly high damage with these things. And you could arguably say, well, it does 7,000 damage, but divided by three, it's not that good. Then we have another double coaxial cannon. Decent rate of fire. 14,000 damage. Whoa, make that 15,000, actually. These things take 15 million to build. And then you get one of these weapon systems. Sweet Jesus. <clears throat> That's really expensive. <laughs> and sure, if you hit something with this, it's going to take a massive amount of damage. 160% damage to the hull. I do want one of these. Where I'm going to fit it, I don't know. That's <laughs> going to be a different question. Uh, it is taking up five slots, so that's all right. Okay, so let's put this in the map. This is a 5k uh, coaxial with 15k DPS. 160% damage to hull. Five slots, and it was costing me 15 million. Now, do they actually have any energy cells? Yes. All the better. I see a good combination, by the way, in the turrets I'm currently building, the Tesla turrets, and this coaxial gun, this coaxial turret. Because between the two of those, I'll be able to get uh, the shields down quickly using the Teslas. And then you fire at them with a coaxial turret or a coaxial uh, weapon. And you blow away the rest of the hull. Alright, I need 30 energy cells. Bye. And then I need to head over to the uh, Sovereign. What was the Enterprise's output again? 7, no, that's firepower. Here, 8.03. Okay, where did I park the 7? No, not the 7. The Sovereign. All of my unit names are quite close together, so it's <laughs> making it a bit hard. Alright, uh, carry on, mine and salvage. Or mine and refine. Let's see, does the Enterprise still have slots open? Pirates are attacking the sector. Really? Okay. It's their funeral, I think. I need to get about two kilometer range, and then I can trade those energy cells. Or hand them over to the Sovereign. Transfer! Cargo! Energy cells, all of them. Done. Alright, and now I should be able to actually start building the turrets. Everything is in the green. Power units, no targeting systems. One, two, done. Okay, how many slots do I still have left on this ship? Yeah, if you could just remove that list. Thank you kindly. I have 15 slots, but I have none free. Let's see, an overview of all my weapons. What is the one that I want to get rid of? This one I need, because it does so much damage to the hull. Uh, this one is a double Tesla for three slots. See, the one that I just added is already better for one slot. This is the chain gun. Two slots. I'm going to... Well, this is 800 damage per, per slot. This is 1200 damage per. I'll go with this one, the chain gun turret. So remove that one. Add one of my extremely damaging new weapons. Look at that. Firepower plus 5,000 Omicron. Holy shit. 
And to think that I could even put another one of these on. I'm not going to. But I could. Ideally, I'd install another point defense weapon. Let's see, how many point defense weapons do you have? One, two, three already. Oh. Well, I don't really have anything better to install at the moment. We have one over there. <clears throat> one over here. That's a point defense laser turret. And one over there. I'll also put one up here. Top of the bridge. Oh, it needs to be built out of Zanian or better. Alright, hang on a sec. There. Right, torpedoes are not welcome here. Slot 2. Okay, that's one ship done. She now has a firepower of 13,077 Omicron. Or 770, actually. Build. I only have 13 slots on the Enterprise. And the Enterprise might... Yeah, she still does have a bit more room. But I'm thinking of actually installing a mining detection system there. If I can get away with it. Because that will allow me to much easier get, an inform get more information about what's going on here. Alright, what weapons do you have? Because you had a bit of a ragtag band, I think. This is uh, pretty bad. It does do a lot of damage to shields. But overall, that Tesla thing is just way better. This thing just penetrates shields altogether. That one, uh, pretty high damage output. And this is a Tesla turret for 3800. Yeah, so it's going to have to be the quad plasma. That's triple. Here's the quad plasma. Right, turrets. Remove that point defense filter and add the double Tesla turret. And she has a firepower of 12.64. Slot 1, slot 1, slot 1, and slot 1. Alright. The only thing I now need is an equipment dock. And making sure that I'm able to actually detect those situations where I might need another... Or where I might be able to find a mine. Um... Sovereign, I want you to head to this equipment dock. And I'll take the Enterprise over there myself. And between the two of them, I should be able to find at least one mining system. Equipment dock, please have a mining system. Mm, no. No joy. Torpedoes. Pretty potent weapons here. But unfortunately not what I'm looking for. Second equipment dock. How about you? No? Oh, sorry, yes. But it's only a trinium tier. I don't need a trinium tier. I need a, a Zanian tier. Or ideally, Organite. You know what? I'll just do a couple of jumps first. We're going to head due west. To uh, that energy signature. And then I'm going to link up. Piloting the Sovereign myself. And getting the Enterprise to escort me again. Go on. What do we have here? Oh, a uh, bad relationship with this faction. Alright. So, ideally, I would not really want to piss these guys off. Hello, Enterprise. Orders, escort me. Now, what I do want to know is how much firepower does one of these destroyers actually carry? I'm not intending on attacking them, but I'm just trying to get a feel for what is a normal amount of damage output in this sector of space. How much shields? How much firepower? 13,500 Omicrons of firepower. Alright. 
That's good to know. Shields? 190,000. So I have five times that amount. Alright, that's good to know. Um, in the subspace tear here somewhere. Let's go for the next sector. Lots of wreckages out here. Is this a scrapyard? Yep. Scrapyard. Alright. I wonder. Any of these scrapyards have any... Well, shall we say broken up ships that might contain Zanian or better? So without a mining system that actually detects all that, it's hard to figure out. Um... Under equipment docks, then. I still have a couple of ships over here. Voyager can head to the other one. Give me control of the Defiant. Please have a mining system. Oh, Zanian or better. Nope. Nothing. Next, equipment dock. Same song and dance. What is up with the utter lack of systems that I need? Let's get the Miranda over there. Please, equipment dock. I come bearing gifts. Thank you. That's the stuff. That's the stuff. In the meanwhile, my alum uh, aluminum mines, silicon mines, metal plate factories, they're all making a decent amount of cash. Nice amount of passive income. Let's see, I'm not sure how good the ship is at slowing down, which is a rather important element of trying to dock with a station. It wouldn't be the first station that I have accidentally rammed into. I'm coming in at 700 meters per second. Ooh, don't do it. Alright, tractor is in. All right, trade equipment, mining system. I'll just immediately get two so I don't have to keep looking for them. And now it is back over here. Switch to Sovereign. Now, I believe that the Sovereign has a full slot or a full complement of slots, but the Enterprise does not. And that means that the Enterprise can Albeit temporarily, just install one of those mining systems and tell me what these wrecks are made up of. Like this one. Organite! More Organite! More Organite! Oh dear. Organite. Trinium. Hello, what are you? Trinium. Hey, Seven. I need you to come over here for a sec. And bring all your fighters, please. Where's the trading? Uh, where's the... Here. Scrapyard. Talk. Bulletin board. No, not bulletin board. Scrapyard. Oh, you're not allowed to do business with me. Really? Could I maybe persuade you to start to do business with me? Would that be at all possible? Let's say if I give a donation of uh, 100,000 trinium. No? It's only going to improve it by 16,800 points. I'm minus 43,000. Okay, I'm not, definitely not going to be making any friends here anytime soon. Unless they happen to get attacked or they got pirates or something. Yeah, I'm not likely to make any friends here. 
Uh, sovereign, follow me. That's the one key that I'm missing here. Sovereign, orders, escort me. Alright. Any way that we can improve relationships with this faction? Not for delivery missions. <clears throat> I refuse to do those. Trading posts. Power units. Yeah, right. East, northeast, northeast. Let's just check this one out. Also because I'm eager to test out those new double Tesla turrets. What happened here? This looks like a massive amount of wreckages. Are these Zotan? Yes, they're Zotan. Well, it's not necessarily a bad situation for me to be in. Because if they destroyed something valuable here, then the seven provinces with their salvaging fighters can make perfect use of that. What are your guys... Yeah, your firepower is dreadful. And your shields are pretty similar. Trinium rocks. What the hell did you blow up? That was a station of some sort. But how much is left to salvage? Zanian? 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 Lots and lots of Zanian. But it's not the only station here. All right, we're going fighting. We need to get these guys out of here. Because the Seven is going to be doing her salvaging run here. Hello. There we go, they're now hostile. Open fire. That is the new double Tesla turret at work. Holy shit. <laughs> One down. The rest of them seem to be heavily invested in taking down the Sovereign. Um, seven. If you want, you can attack enemies. Oh, they got some uh, laser systems there again that are penetrating my shields. That sucks. Firing at a rock. There's an asteroid in the way. Come on. Whoa, they're really messing up the Sovereign. What the hell is doing so much damage to her? Guys, please. I paid good money for that ship. Oh, here we go again. It's one of those let's jump around things. Let's jump around a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna tell the Sovereign to get out of here. I think it's too dangerous for her. Come on. It's almost down. Gotcha. What we got here? 2k minion. Destroyed. Oh, this is the culprit right here. I recognize those blips that it's firing. That's shield penetrating weapons. Definitely. Yeah, every time it hits me, I lose out on a lot of health. So quit your business. That was definitely the one who was trying to blow away the Sovereign. And I actually succeeded in it, too. She did a good amount of damage. Well, not a good, but, you know. <laughs> it hurt like hell. How's the seven? 
Seven's holding steady. Shield's at 99%. Next. Are they bringing in new ones? No, they're not. Or at least not yet. Destroyed. Destroy it. Those new double Tesla turrets really are earning their keep. Where? Oh, here. What's this seven doing? It seems like it's stuck. It's trying to maneuver through a, well, asteroid field ish. Which, whoa, what the shit? You actually conjured up some sort of new ship, didn't you? I know that they're capable of doing that, I just never actually seen them do it. Usually when there's one of those Zotan uh, summoners around, sure, you see new ships appearing, but this is the first time that I actually saw the animation. That looked great. Yeah, man. Gotcha. Is that all of them? No, there's one Corvette. And it is down here. It doesn't have any firepower. Alright. Um, Sovereign, get back here. Because I believe that the Enterprise... No, that the, sh the Seven Provinces still has a couple of repair fighters. Which are going to come in very handy when I want to repair the uh, Seven. Sovereign. Alright. Yeah, she still has her healing fighters. Why did you have to dig yourself into an asteroid field? Weird priorities. Alright, where is... Here's the Enterprise. I'll repair her first. Repair. And I can tell my salvagers to start harvesting. There we go, look at how quickly the hull's getting repaired. 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 100. Thank you very much. Um, Sovereign, follow me. Or rather, just come closer. Sovereign, to here. And meanwhile, we're getting all sorts of new goodies. I did see a red double Tesla come in. Whoa! That's a one-slot weapon. I like. And also a load of these Zotan technology artifacts. Did a quick Google. Um, it turns out that those, those uh, technology fragments that I'm getting, they're useful in case you want to start finding the end boss. And you, from what I've gathered, just research them the same way that you do with other items. What's the problem? Suspicious goods. Like what? Oh, actually, one suspicious goods. Right. I'm getting a decent amount of Argonite. Sovereign, you feeling better yet? Because they messed you up a fair bit. Can I get a few more repair fighters built, maybe? Uh, they're not that expensive. Yeah, let's get a few more built. 22,000 trinium. And that way I can also assign one or two of these birds on each of the ships. Alright, you can come back now. I need to send, what, two pilots over there? Oh, speaking of, I don't have enough pilots myself. Yep, I don't have enough pilots myself. I need to start training up additional pilots. Uh, just get me uh, 80 of them. And let's go with another 80 borders. And clone another 190 crew members. Alright, repair fighters are coming back in. I need to transfer, let's say, two pilots to that ship. And then I need to create a new wing. One, two. 
And I can transfer those to the Sovereign. Two repair fighters. Done. And I can do the same thing for the Enterprise. One, two. And these guys will keep producing. Enterprise. How far away are you? Three, six, four. So you're just slightly too far away. Orders transfer to pilots and to fighters. That should keep the ships in fairly good condition. Alright, I'll stick with the Enterprise. I'll tell the Sovereign to follow me. Uh, no, not repair me. Escort me. And I cannot produce any. But then again, I don't really need to. So this is a repair wing. Let's check out the next... Uh, no, no, actually, no, 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 no. I need to get close to the center. And this is not helping. I think from here I might be able to find a gate that's going to allow me to jump past either this sector or that one. Let's go. Let's do the seven provinces uh, on salvaging runs. Big place. North, southwest. What? By who? There was one ship there, one Zotan ship. I refuse to think that the Seven is not capable of handling, handling one unshielded Zotan ship. Uh, I need to go to southwest. There. Is there anything that these guys want me to do to build the reputation? Free slaves. Except, where? On the other side. Alright, let's do that then. Those usually give you a reputation boost of about 15,000 points, which is going to allow me to get in the good graces of this faction. Okay. Here are the slaves. Let's get over there. Anything you guys need? No. 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 Free slaves. Yes. And just hope that I don't get my ship destroyed while doing it. Or ships, rather. Sovereign. Get your butt over here. Sovereign, escort me. Okay, so you guys are holding slaves. That is not a very nice thing to do. Attack. Who would like to go first? You? That can be arranged. Oh, the shipyard is actually closest. Seems like a pretty sizable ship. Twenty. Oh, hell no. You and your torpedoes. Oh shit, I need to send these to defense. Otherwise they won't do much. Ow. Jesus Christ, that hurt the ship. That was a torpedo, wasn't it? Yeah, there's more up. Range on these Tesla things is limited. Here comes another one. Immediately gets stopped. Good. Sovereign's doing fine. That's a big Ravager. No, I need to take down one ship at a time. I don't have to kill all of them, just enough of them to get them to back off. Jeez, that's a really big Ravager. Shields it under 70% or so. A 
Finally, the double Tesla is kicking in again. There we go. Now we're actually doing some damage against it. Shields are gone. Hull is failing. Looks like that new double Tesla turret does have some overheat options, or, well, features. 5%, 3%, ship destroyed. Oh, you're already uh, worked over pretty well, aren't you? I just need to finish you off. Come on. The ship has a good amount of capacity to deal with enemy ships, or with enemy shields. But when it comes to hull... We're gonna need a lot more firepower. Come on. Gotcha. Oh, there's... Yeah, I need to kill one more ship. Alright, this one then. There you go. Hold your fire. Good. Now, what did I pick up? Uh, another double Tesla, three slots. Oh, right. <laughs> Sovereign is still very aggressive. As they should be while escorting me. Are you alright? Yeah, she just lost a bit of shield strength, but hull strength overall is good. See, damage against hull is just not good enough. That's where this ship struggles. And on top of that, the double Tesla just does not do a lot of range. I think it's 5 or something. If I want to take this thing down, it's going to take me 5.92 million shields. And 5.45 million hull. That's a pretty rough station to shoot. Let's go get the other slaves, and then I'll head back the same way I came in. Picking up some of the drops here. Uh, repair, well, me, actually. Repair. Repair. Hello? You have pilots, yes? Yeah. I have fighters. What's the problem with this ship? They cannot launch. There's something the matter with these launch bays. That's it. It's these blocks which are literally blocking the hangar bays. There we go. Now they're going. Yeah, now turn around and start repairing my ship. Thank you. That's it. Double force turret. Hmm. Organite. Don't mind if I do. Shields is regenerated. I just need these guys. There we are. Thank you very much. Alright, I need to do the same thing on Sovereign. Otherwise she will not be able to launch her fighters either. So these blocks look nice. And they're there to slot out or the, to slant out the surface. But it's in the way. How much hangar capacity do I have anyway? 10. <laughs> That's it. Just 10. Oh dear. Hold on though. Could I fit some in here? Possibly. It's just Trinium Hull. I know it's not supposed to be a cargo bay or a, um, a hangar bay. But hey. This is my version of one of these ships. Alright, Enterprise, orders, follow me. And we're gonna head out to there. Don't... R oh, right, you're still shooting. Okay, okay, we'll wrap up this pirate, and then we'll head out. Is that good? Does that suit your needs? Oh, 
I'm up to 11 million again, but I want to get to 15 million, well, almost 20 million, I think, and get one of these ships a coaxial turret. Coaxial cannon. Unless, by the time that I get there, I already find something better. Attack! Target the pirate ships. Fire when ready. Prioritize the Ravagers and the rest of the torpedo ships. Um, could I kindly not do this alone? Because I don't feel confident doing just that. The ship has a decent amount of firepower, but she needs her sister ship. Without it, I'm probably going to start taking a lot of damage very, very quickly. Especially with those annoying, let's punch through your shields type of weapons. So maybe I do have to invest in some systems that allow me to block the enemy's damage. Whoa, look at all that damage to the hull. Sweet Jesus. That hurt. There's the Sovereign. No, the Enterprise, finally. Ow. Come on, take down a few of them. You don't have to murder them all, but three, four, five ships should do it. Just need them to start giving up. Holy shit, there goes my hull again. My goodness, I'm gonna need a lot better shield on this ship. Or <clears throat> impenetrable shields. Ow, 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 ow. Transfer to Enterprise. Uh, Sovereign, get out. Please tell me you left. Yeah, that was the jump from the Sovereign. Come on. Murder one. Thank you. Which one is the very dangerous one? This guy. 1.6 fire or 1.6k firepower, but that's not telling the whole story, is it? She might not seem that intimidating at first until you open your mouth and you start shooting. That's when the damage starts to add up. I can barely see this guy. Are those tracking rockets by any chance? Oh, yes, they are. Okay. These ships are not up to the job. Even together, they're struggling. Come on. There you go. Shields are done. At least my shields will hold for the moment. As the enemy does not have any more of those, let's punch right through your shield ships. That I know of. Come on, almost. Stop dancing around. Got him. That looks like a laser boat. And you look like you're out of range. For the moment. 300,000 shields. Keep going. I have those weapons too, you know, especially on this ship. I can pierce right through your shields. I think I'm strafing sideways as fast as he's moving forward. Where the hell is my damage output? Have I picked up any better weapons at this point? Pulse cannon. No, that one's not great. It's only one slot. Oh, it is 91% chance to get through the shields. That's not bad. 
I also had another double Tesla, I think. Quad plasma. Plasma, chain gun, Tesla. Three slots, though. Plasma, no. Triple chain gun, definitely not. Double Tesla turret, three slots. Mm, okay. Could be useful. Point defense chain. Double railgun turret. Four slots. 122% damage to the hull. It helps. You know, there's one thing I need to do. Um, game options. Need to show the, all the turrets. Tooltips. Can only be changed in the main menu. Okay. So that's not something I can change right now. That means I have to finish this fight first. And then I'll be able to change that setting. Let's just get rid of all these cheap-ass guns. Or, well, not necessarily cheap-ass guns, but at least lower-tier ones. Not interested. No. I'll just put this thing on, because it is currently the easiest weapon to fit. That's not a midships. There. There's a torpedo incoming. Lovely. Maybe all my weapons are too much in a line. That they can't quite fire. But I'm firing upwards at the enemy ship. So they should all be able to fire. I don't quite see what the problem is here. Oh, they're all overheating. There we go. Shields are down. This is taking forever. I guess this is why the game is starting to offer those really high damage output weapons. Forty percent. Have to get a bit more distance. Thinking not all of my weapons are able to fire. Thirty percent. Twenty. Fifteen. My incoming torpedoes are getting annoying. Gotcha. Okay, okay, okay. Fine, we have a deal. I need to get over here quick. Uh, jump. Alright, that's one. What the hell? You're going to have to explain me how the shit this Zotan Corvette actually damaged the provinces this badly. That means that the provinces didn't defend itself at all. How can you not defend yourself? What nonsense is that? Come on. You went down to 38%. You have a captain, for crying out loud. You have two captains, even. And I know that two captains on the same ship can cause issues, but... Come on. Make an effort to defend yourself, please. Cargo bay's not even full. If you guys could just go harvesting, that'd be lovely. Going back up to 40, 41, 42%, but this never should have happened. Okay, the Sovereign needs to get here. And I need to take control of the Sovereign and transit through that jump gate. Uh, 
Okay. You have slaves aboard, right? No, you do not. Then the Enterprise must have slaves aboard. Ah, there we go. Ten freed slaves. Okay. Um, sovereign. Repair yourself. And then I'll go to the northwest gate. No, northeast gate. And I'll get over there and drop off the slaves before that mission times out. In four minutes. Now the guys over here are currently neutral to me. So they still don't particularly like me, but at least they're not hostile to me anymore. Okay, relationship total improved by 30,000. Now they are neutral, but still negative. You guys are a tough crowd to please. Let's do another one. Over there. This time I'll take the 7 for a spin. Hoping that she's going to last a little longer. How are you doing? 44%. All uh, aircraft are back inside. Right. With a pretty damaged 7 provinces, we're going to try and take on these pirates. My firepower is still way better on this ship than it could be on either of the seven, no, the Sovereign or uh, the Enterprise. And my shielding is also way better at 1.55. But I do appear to be missing some blocks on my ship here and there. Jesus. What the hell did they do to me? And why did the seven not defend itself? Here we go. The Chain Guns of Death are still operational. But they have another one of those birds that's capable of doing damage to me through my shields. You're the bad guy. Uh, defend. Do so now. I could get my fighters out, my repair fighters, but I'm a bit hesitant about it. Because I don't want to lose them. You little ship. Come over here. Stop it. So you're good at dishing it out, but you're not good at absorbing the damage. That's good to know. Okay, man. Keep going. This is the third ship I'll destroy. Might be enough to persuade them. Give it up. I'm losing a lot of hull integrity again. Gotcha. <sighs> okay. Seven's down to 32% hull integrity. Repair. How many repair fighters have you built? Two. Okay. I guess the repair fighters are not going to be sufficient. At least not in the current state. Because I also just have flat out damaged or destroyed blocks on this ship. So I'll have to replace those. Uh, not bad. But not exactly what I need. Hold on. That's a pretty good weapon. Double Tesla turret. Double rail gun. Four slots. Rate of fire is bad though. Alright, we just finished production of another fighter. Hull integrity 37, 38 and rising. But guys, they, <laughs> they're they really messing up my ships. Not just a little, but seriously messing up my ships. Do I have a hull ionizer anywhere? 
Resistance against plasma. No, I need to get one of those impervious shield gens. But then again, I'm losing out on shields. I don't have any of those, unfortunately. Not with me, anyway. These are all durability upgrades. Durability... Yeah, it's not the type of shield upgrade that I want. <clears throat> 45. Should go harvest some stuff. How much do you have on the cargo bay? 9,000 Organite, 35, sorry, 39,000 Sanyan, and a whole bunch of targeting systems. Right. What? Everybody back. Because if I can help these guys out when dealing with their pirate threat, I'll be able to get quite a decent promotion. Or at least a reputation boost. Where am I salvaging repair fighters? Guys, speed up. One. The other one. Quickly now. Good. Let's go. Nope, that's not the way I need to... Oh. He died. <sighs> what a waste of time. All right, another 15,000. They are still neutral, but on the good side of neutral now. Um, I doubt they're gonna be trading turrets with me anytime soon. Or fighters for that matter. Oh, actually, no, they don't mind trading fighters. Hmm. Pulse cannon fighters can go right through their shields. Organite tier though. I don't have a lot of Organite at all. Hmm. Can I ask these guys where their home sector is? 10, or sorry, 100 by minus 6. So that is there. Let's have a look there then. How much would it cost to repair this one? That's a hefty repair fee right there. Okay, welcome to the main sector for the Zabob. <laughs> Sorry, no, for the uh, Ulyak Federation. What do these guys trade, if anything? Organite tier. Organite R mining turret. Yes. That's the stuff that I'm looking for. Because if I have an Organite mining turret, I can also mine a Vorian. Provided I can find it. And there's only one of these. But one of these is a start. How am I doing for Trinium? Decent. Steel factory sold another 425. Very nice. I suppose the turret factories are not interested in talking to me yet. Oh, free slaves though. Nope, they don't want to talk to me yet. So we're finally getting up to the Organite tier. That's very good. Trade equipment. Uh, Organite or mining turret. Hull polarizer. Hull durability, 30%. Weakness against energy, no. Shield booster. Mm, it's not great. Double pulse cannon turret. Single slot. Okay. Let's sell off everything I don't need. That's 4 million right there. All right, let's do one more slaver mission and hope that that's going to push me across the barrier to being in good graces with them so that maybe I can get a better mining turret. Um, 
How much is it? 226,000. We have a deal. Here's your cash. Thank you. <laughs> that saved me a lot of damage output. So you're just buying reputation. 15,000 reputation for 226,000? Easy. It was fine, don't mention it. And in the meanwhile, my silver mine sold gold for 316,000, so it actually made up for more than what I paid to those guys. Relationship. Oh, come on, still neutral. How do I satisfy you guys so that you're going to be able to give me turrets? No, I don't need to build a ship. No missions here, unfortunately. All right, well, I'll just have to get the seven provinces repaired and uh, then go on additional mission hunting. And also start to mine actual Organite and potentially Xanion. But all to that, all to come and more in the next episode. Join me then, and I shall catch you guys on the next one.